Okay, the next part is about the report center. <clears throat> uh, just now, uh, we uh, learn about the audits. So after the audit, in the, in the controller, there are uh, lots of uh, logs. Uh, so what can we do uh, with uh, these logs? Uh, where we can see the analytics uh, of these logs, then we can go to the report center to check. Uh, for the report center, <clears throat> after the NSA enable the user audit, the log is uh, uh, stored in which place and how to check it. Uh, actually, it's uh, uh, restored in the uh, internal, for the internal report center, it's, uh, uh, the log will be uh, stored in the NSA disk, but the disk uh, space is limited. For the external report center, uh, the user audit data will be uh, sent, will be uh, stored in the external server. Uh, for the external report center, there are two versions of uh, uh, data center. Um, for, for this, for point, we just uh, uh, to use the latest uh, data center setup, uh, uh, to use the latest uh, data center to explain. Mm. For the internal report center, uh, in the service, we need to enable the internal report center and then to make the configuration. Uh, for example, um, how long the logs will be uh, preserved. Uh, usually we set it uh, 15 days. And uh, the disk usage alarm uh, threshold, usually we make the threshold is um, 85%. So when the user log is more than 85%, it will try to uh, delete the old uh, traffic, uh, delete the old uh, user's log. And uh, in the WLAN controller application center, uh, we can access to the report center. Uh, due to the limited uh, disk space of the built-in report center, so uh, it's not recommended you to uh, use the internal uh, audit, internal report center. It's better to uh, install one external report center and then to uh, store the audit log in the external uh, storage uh, devices. For the external report center, uh, the requirements for the system or condition, 64-bit uh, operation system uh, installed on the Windows uh, on the Windows server. <clears throat> for the hardware condition, the installation disk need to need at least eight GB of free hard disk space. Uh, the computer with an external log center is recommended to use your uh, uh, dual core CPU with more than 2G memory. And uh, the installation disk file system must be NTFS, cannot be FAT or FAT32, only be uh, NTFS. So uh, after, we after we install the data center uh, in the Windows server, we can use these two methods to log in to the external report center. The first, we go to the uh, start menu and uh, to open report center uh, to access to the uh, example report uh, center directory. The second way is uh, to uh, access to the, uh, to open the browser and uh, access to uh, one hundred twenty-seven point zero point zero one to log into the report center web interface. Uh, the log account and the password are all admin. Uh, the default login part of the new version data center is uh, four four three. Uh, the login part of uh, the external log center can be modified during the installation. Uh, it means uh, the data center usually uh, for the login part it's uh, 443 because the 443 is also for the HTTPS and uh, uh, you need to input the HTTPS uh, 
0.1 to access to the web interface. For the system management, uh, and then in the system management advanced options, uh, after in, in installation, you can uh, modify this number to avoid the conflict with the, the other program ports on the server. Uh, after the external repository is installed, uh, we can create, uh, we need to create a, a synchronization strategy in the system management since uh, policy to associate uh, with the WAC. When editing the things uh, policy, you need to configure the password, uh, which is used to check uh, the uh, security of uh, WAC and the external report center. Also, you can choose which kind of uh, logs need to be uh, sent to the external report center. At the same time, you can cho uh, choose the more uh, advanced settings to uh, modify the log uh, synchronization time period by yourself. Uh, the, default, the default is uh, 24 hours uh, synchronization. Uh, this, for the, uh, this part is for the uh, synchronization strategy of uh, the external uh, report center and the controller. Uh, so how do you make a settings in the controller? In the application center, the service management, uh, the service, we need to enable the uh, external report center. Then, in settings to add an external report center. The IP address is uh, the IP address of a server when the external lock center is uh, installed. So uh, when you install the, when you install the uh, data center, the external data center in the Windows server, uh, then you need to uh, input the IP address for of uh, uh, this Windows server uh, for uh, in the controller. And the combination part is, uh, is the part used by the wireless controller to synchronize all the data. So uh, for the port TCP810, this is used to uh, synchronize the audit uh, data. So we need to make sure that uh, this port is uh, open. And uh, for the synchronization policy, and the access key, uh, it must be the same as, uh, uh, it must be the same as the external report center. Uh, it's about the synchronized policy. The white port is the, the login port of uh, the external log center, the default is the purpose media. <coughs> So after you import the uh, external report center IP address in the uh, fields, in the IP address field, uh, you can uh, start to test the validity, uh, whether, uh, the, whether the validity is uh, uh, successful. The control, if, uh, uh, if the controller cannot normally be into uh, the server, then, then you need to check the connection, whether it's uh, connected or not. Uh, also, you need to check whether the port is open. And uh, for the firewall, you need to uh, disable the firewall. So after we uh, create the uh, external report center, we can uh, view the log of a uh, successful connection when uh, with the controller and the uh, task of uh, synchronized data, the synchronization strategy will also display the associated device information. Um, after, uh, after you connect it to the external report center, you can uh, log in to the external uh, report center directly from the uh, controller. After you, uh, configured, uh, after you configured it uh, successfully, from the controller, you can directly access to the uh, external report center and then to check the report. <clears throat> there are some uh, failure, failure reason. 
some some failure situation, and then we can find the reason. Uh, when the control audit data cannot be synchronized to the external data center, the following items need to be checked. The first is uh, the TCP 810 uh, between the controller and the external log center fails. So we need to check whether this port is open. Uh, the synchronization policy and the access key uh, of the controller and the external report center are the, uh, are the same. Also, um, the next part is uh, the controller of uh, it says 3.4.2 version B. And above, it doesn't upgrade uh, uh, the built-in log center package. So the controller it must have a, a built-in log center package to synchronize the audit data to the external log center. So uh, if you can open uh, you can open the building log center and try to open the test. For the report, uh, report center usage. Uh, so after we, uh, in, after we install uh, the external report center and uh, or enable the internal report center, uh, how we can get from the report center? Uh, in the home page. Uh, it will report the display of a various audio log. You can check the report you want to display by selecting a report on the right side. For example, now uh, we want to know the bandwidth distribution and the application traffic ranking, so we choose it. And then in the home page, it will uh, display this information to uh, us. Uh, the log query can log query can query the user behavior. Uh, based on the user behavior log. Uh, so for the log query, we can uh, query the user's behavior. We can search for the user's behavior. Uh, since the communication application are encrypted, so the communication application logs uh, do not record the user's communication content uh, and uh, can only identify the uh, specific application. So for some application, uh, it's uh, the content is uh, encryption, it's encrypted. For example, for the WhatsApp, um, because the content is uh, encrypted, so we can know, not know what message we are sent to the user, uh, to the other user. So we only know that we use the WhatsApp uh, app. We no only know this behavior, but we cannot know the content. Okay, uh, actually here it's uh, the log query. Uh, it can show you the user name, the group, the user in which group, and the MAC address of this user, and uh, the device's type, uh, the app category, what kind of uh, application uh, he use. And it will give you the details for you to check. At uh, the traffic duration uh, analysis is uh, a ranking and uh, trend analyze of the traffic of the users uh, accessing application or website. So uh, it will also give you the information that uh, the user, uh, what kind of uh, uh, app or category to access, uh, what, what it usually do. For the, robust, uh, for the report uh, subscription, it's convenient for the administrator to set uh, the user log reports and uh, send them to design uh, the mail box for one time or uh, periodically review. For example, if you uh, subscribe the report center uh, for each day and uh, the controller will send you uh, the reports every day to you. And also for the uh, report contents, you can choose what kind of information you want to know. You want the controller to send it uh, uh, periodically. Uh, for example, here, uh, we want to know, as an administrator, we want to know the application traffic ranking and the URL category traffic ranking and the application bandwidth distribution and uh, the URL category bandwidth distribution. So we uh, choose these four, uh, as the report contents. And uh, we import our email address as a subscribe, uh, as a subscriber. So uh, every day, 
the user will send these four reports to you, uh, to your email, and then you can know the details information. After we subscribe, you can test uh, to generate a rep report now to check whether uh, whether the uh, subscribe is uh, successful. Uh, for example, in the report subscription, in the operation generate, we can generate a report uh, now and to view the report. For this one, uh, it's a SMTP service. Uh, just now you, uh, you want to subscribe the report center, but you need to make sure the SMTP server uh, is uh, valid. You need to import the uh, example, input the SMTP server to set up it. Uh, it's for the system management. The next part is about the log clean. So uh, in the system management, the disk space, we can see that uh, uh, how many uh, space we have used and uh, how many uh, disk space still uh, not be used. And uh, if uh, we don't have enough space, we need to delete uh, some um, uh, old logs. So we can manage the logs here uh, for each day. Uh, for example, uh, for the last uh, three days from uh, uh, the May 8th to the May 10th, and then we can delete the lock to uh, release the space for the new lock. The disk space of the wireless controller itself is limited. So uh, the suggestion is to enable the uh, auditing. The user log cannot be uh, saved for a long time. Uh, also to use the external log center. If there is an audit behavior log, but the homepage uh, report cannot be displayed normally, you need to check the configuration on the audit user flow and uh, duration. For the third, owning the logs of uh, the other external log center for backup and important, yeah. Uh, only some can support uh, backup and important, but uh, the log backup is uh, uh, in by divided into uh, emetically backup and the particle backup. Now, uh, now of the now of the last day's log on the devices will be backed up. For this part, it's about the report center, the usage and uh, the installation of uh, the internal report center and the external report center. 